Hey everybody, John Collins with Collins Coastal and Coldwell Banker, partnered with Pacific Beach, uh, bringing you more uh, events and businesses and goings on in Pacific Beach 92109. He might recognize the gentleman next to me, Thane Youngman. Uh, we've spoken before about his business, uh, the gallery at Land's End. Today, we're talking about his new enterprise and a really amazing project uh, that I am excited to share with you because I think it's terrific. It's uh, something that I share with my clients all the time. And uh, that is your business, uh, Figure and Function Woodworks. Do I have that right? You got it right. Okay. Figure and Function Woodworks, uh, kind of born out of uh, some downtime with the other business, mm -hmm. seeing where it goes. So uh, tell me a little bit about how it gets started. I mean, just so people know, it's it's a woodworking slash art yeah. project. <laughs> yeah, so um, always kind of been a woodworker on the side. Uh, my father was a woodworker mm -hmm. uh, growing up back east. I've always been around a shop um, and always really enjoyed getting dirty <laughs> right you know making things and building things is pretty cool sure um people say that they love their ikea furniture five times more than they should because they actually built it themselves <laughs> right. whether or not it's actually of a high quality product, right? uh -uh. so building something is something that i uh, have always really enjoyed uh as well as being creative i went to school for photography back east uh working with the gallery we're always you know uh custom picture framing doing all kinds of fun stuff right mm -hmm. Uh, so we have, whenever we get a little bit of downtime, I tend to just get creative. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've been working with a little bit of epoxy. Epoxy has come a long way, uh, from, you know, when you were maybe glassing your own board 10 years ago mm -hmm. and it was stinking out the room. We've got a lot of natural epoxies kind of on the market now, and it's created a new kind of a niche market with, uh, people using different kind of slabs of wood and then you're running a river of epoxy down the middle of mm -hmm. them. Uh, we're kind of getting creative that way. And what I saw was a market for um, you know, something of the cutting board size. Mm -hmm. I'm a single man operation back here. I'm never running more than one piece of equipment at the same time. We're never going to build these huge tables that some people are building or right. you know, kind of the way the movement started. But what I thought was, well, you know, pretty much everybody has a dining room table already. Sure maybe you want to have a, a nice cutting board to kind of go on top of it or that you pull out with friends in a charcuterie board style Absolutely. or uh, you're doing your own sushi and you're plating something up really special yeah you want it to show and they really are presentation ready uh yeah. I, I i really do see them as works of art uh it's pretty, the cutting board specifically but that's not all you do no um, no we do uh, also some small side tables again mm -hmm. it's uh being a one-man shop uh, one of the really nice things is that I say no to people all the time when they say, can you build me a dining room table? And I just say no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I usually say no. And then here are some awesome local makers that can build you something like that. Because mm -hmm. the woodworking community here in San Diego is actually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, a lot of really cool makers, a lot of really creative people. Terrific. Um, so, yeah, we kind of do some side tables, uh, a style called a C table, which is meant to be pulled in underneath your couch um little coffee table stuff like that yeah. great okay and um so and i'll link to the business so you guys absolutely check out some of the pieces that Thane is putting out they're gorgeous and they're available here in the shop in pacific beach or online um but you've been growing fast tell us a little about a bit about where you see yeah. things going what's new with you yeah like i said the uh the side of the business that was kind of a hobby really uh kind of skyrocketed and, and took a, a leap last fall uh into the holiday season mm -hmm. where i had um you know people uh hitting me up very late in the game and i was here till two in the morning sanding mm -hmm. and doing stuff like that <laughs> right. uh people really looking for that amazing gift uh so this year we kind of i kind of decided to Give it a little bit more time a little bit more resources we've been tooling up uh one thing about woodworking is you always you always need the next tool right uh, it's a really great way to spend some money <laughs> mm -hmm. sure sure uh so this year we've been kind of tooling up seeing if we can produce things faster at a manageable clip and we'll kind of see where the business goes uh right now we kind of keep it under the umbrella of the gallery at land's end mm -hmm. um i'm just lucky that way where i can kind of see where this takes me uh, also falling back on my original business. That's fantastic. I'm, I'm thrilled to see you growing and 
but maintaining that just top-notch quality because yeah. they really are, you know, they're, they're conversation pieces. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, as you know, parkbench.com, uh, who I partner with and we bring out these, uh, these interviews, uh, is all about local business. And so I know we've spoken before about what you like to do in the area and, and uh, some of your favorite things. But, uh, you know, instead of recapping that, how about just... Uh, is there anybody locally you want to kind of give a shout out to or, or a business that you would mention springs to mind that you like to draw attention to? Yeah, as far as woodworking goes, um, my buddy Brian down at Made Lumber uh, has kind of stuck with me along the entire kind of process. Uh -huh. And uh, I still kind of go to him with questions. Um, guys down at San Diego Urban Timber are doing really cool things as far as reclaiming a lot of local fallen timbers. Oh, okay. Um, those are really cool guys, and those are guys that can both build just, they're just amazing makers. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of great guys working at a maker space over on Marina Boulevard. Oh, okay. That do a lot of, uh, you know, custom welding, fabrication, all that kind of cool stuff. Um, we've got a cool community of local makers that can really do some cool stuff. That's awesome. All right, and we'll link to those businesses as well so you can find them. Uh, how... Do you prefer people find you? What's the best way to um, come across your products? Woodworking actually translates really well to Instagram. We've got a ton of followers there. I try to post uh, daily or every other day on that. Mm -hmm. So that's Figure and Function Woodworks. Uh, I've got a website uh, linked up. It's figureandfunctionwoodworks.com. Pretty basic. Uh, but for anybody local, just come in and find me. We're at the gallery at Land's End. Terrific. Yeah. Then I appreciate the time. Always thanks for letting me back here behind the scene. It's yeah. cool to see all this stuff in, in yeah. process. Yeah. But And thanks, everybody, for joining us. Uh, click on the links, check all this stuff out, and we'll be back with you soon. Thanks, John.